Petit Pet Portraits with the artist Algernon. Welcome back to my quiet little corner of the internet. Welcome to Petit Pet Portraits. I, of course, am the artist Algernon. You can call me Derek. Uh, you're probably asking, why am I wearing a hat? Why am I wearing this hat in particular? Is it because I think I'm cool? No, I don't think that. It's because I know I'm cool. No, it's not that either. I don't feel particularly cool. Um, but I am pretty uh, happy that I got to paint a portrait of a dog yet again, only this time. The dog is wearing a hat similar to, if not the same hat as this, I don't know. It's been a while since I painted the painting, but it's time I made the video. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it and let's paint grits. Today we paint grits. It took me all of a few seconds to block in that cool hat. And I was very happy about the dog and the cool hat with the cool name, such as Grits. It made me laugh and remember about hearing the word Grits for the first time. It was when I was watching the show Alice, in which one of the supporting characters, Flo, would repeatedly tell Mel to kiss her Grits. I, to this day, have no idea what that means. But boy, did I laugh when I was a child. Anyhow, the sunlight on the carpet, illuminating the dog's belly, as well as what seems to be um, sunlight coming in from a window at the bottom left of the painting, as well as the reflection on the side of the face, became one of my favorite parts of the painting. As you can see, all of those colors repeating the patterns and uh, such as the leopard print in the background, but I digress. Hold up, gang. We got to put the painting on pause. P-A-W-S. Pause. Oh, let's see what I did there. We gotta have our moment with this Maybelline. That's all. So back to the leopard print in the background and the various colors within that really made the dog's fur and the color of uh, made it difficult to capture, to be honest with you because every time I got the, the brim of the hat done properly, the background colors would become an issue. And this went back and forth for a while, so I eventually just committed to the background and leaving the brim whatever color it was going to be. And at the end of the day, does anyone really care about that? The answer is yes, I do, but I'm, I'm not the one who's going to have the painting in their house. And I don't think the, uh, the art police, the, you know, the deputy of color, I don't think they're uh, coming after me anytime soon. But one of the things you'll see is there's a lot of nice purples and oranges in the dog's face. And we nailed it. Here is a side-by-side, -side, as I do not have any footage for a wrap-up segment. So all you can do is take a look at the end result, which I'm very proud of. Well, we did it. We made it. If you stuck around the whole time, thank you. I very much appreciate that. It makes me very happy. Um, this dog was a pleasure to paint. I hope you had a pleasure watching me paint the dog. And, um, you know, feel free to like and subscribe and help a brother out, you know? Uh, anyhow, there's nothing left to say, except maybe, cheers to another great painting.
Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Be well, everybody.